Hey folks, so uh, today we have the Schlage uh, F series number 51 uh, Kia knob set. Nice little uh, Kia knob set here. You can see there's the latch, spring loaded. Um, it's even a dead latch, so pretty nice uh, and should be decent home security. But now we're going to see if it can stand up to something a little bit more subtle, which is a standard uh, twist-handled tension tool and the Peterson uh, number one flat-tipped hook. So we're going to fit a tension tool in here at the edge of the keyway. And I'm going to reach in there. And already we've got ourselves a bit of a false set going. A very deep false set now. But not enough to get us an open, so we're going to have to slack off on the tension. And here I'm not being terribly precise. Uh, I'm actually using, at some points, the shaft of the tool to set pins, uh, rather than just using the tip to set them. This is a very tricky uh, lock, and I'll show you why if we can get this open. Uh, we're probably getting hung up on someone in the back here. see how much this thing is flexing, and this is kind of why uh, key and knob sets don't really get rated above a grade 2, because they are kind of fragile. There we go. That's number 1, almost definitely set now. I know we're getting really close. We're just... There we go. So, now we're unlocked, and... Or, actually, it seems like I just locked this back up. Right. But, either way, we've got that cylinder picked, and we could take a uh, plug spinner and snap this back around uh, to unlock it. Like so. Now... Uh, I do have the keys, and you can see this does have some pretty radical bidding, this very, very uh, high, uh, shallow cut right behind two very deep cuts and then two sort of slightly shallower cuts uh, up at the front. Now, let's see, are we three minutes, three and a half minutes in? I think we should have enough time to uh, get a breakdown of this guy, because this guy is a pretty interesting design. So, I'm going to get a screwdriver out. screws <laughs> are. The knob on the right, right now, is just where the little locking knob is, uh, so we don't really have to worry about that. So it's basically the same mechanism found on just about any key and knob set like this. It's the one on the left that we're really interested in because the Schlage F-Series has some cool, uh, and as far as I know, fairly unique design elements. 
So there's the interior knob off. And now there's the bolt. And here's the uh, main knob. So it's a bit of a trick to getting these guys open, which very annoyingly I have completely forgotten now. Uh, oh yes, here we go. So uh, while we have it open. this. We're going to use this as an improvised cylinder removal tool. And we need to get this open to the right position. And now we can push this in and pull the knob away. And now the knob is dismounted from the spindle. And there's the cylinder itself right in there. But we have to reach in there with another tool and free it up. Because right now it's not going to come out. So first, let's just see if we can get the key out. There we go. And now reach in there with the arm of our tension tool. And we're going to press on this guy a little bit. And there we go. So here's the cool thing about the actual cylinder in the Schlage uh, F-Series. It compresses. So, let me get this guy open again. There we go. Unlocked. We're going to pop this. C-clip off, if we can. There we go. See clip off. Now we can start to remove it. But we're going to just make sure that we don't drop any pins. And we have to get this angle exactly right because this is kind of a weird shape to be dealing with. That's a no-go. Let's try it again uh, like this. Hopefully, get it right. This guy. Nope. Got a lot of followers to do with here. Here we go. So, what is in the plug? Pin one. Nope. Okay, so that's two standards in one and two. Another standard, standard, and a standard. Which really is kind of to be expected uh, from a retail Schlag cylinder. But now, all five cylinders there, or all five chambers, you'll now see, have these cool little T-pins. And so here's one that actually came out with the full spring stack. The way it works is that the little uh, shaft on the T-pin fits inside the coil of the spring like that. So that allows the uh, top of the cylinder to compress like that uh, while still allowing all the pins to be able to retreat up into uh, the Bible of the body. 
but these these end up acting like very very aggressive spools uh, and actually the rough casting of the body interacts with the uh, with the spring here to create uh, a sort of uh, threading which helps trap the pins when you are attempting to manipulate them. So even though you've got nothing but standard pins here, it's the entire cylinder is made up of these T-pins uh, and together with the springs and the uh, cast uh, body there, it actually makes for a pretty difficult pick. So uh, keep that in mind. For a key and knob, for a residential key and knob set, this is pretty good. So until next time, have fun, happy picking, and uh, keep practicing.